Muslims will just randomly take your chickens if you leave them out and you don't babysit them. All right. So it's... You also have to clean out the pens and all that good stuff. So essentially, they're adding uh, a profession of you got to take care of chickens. It mm -hmm. will be more so if you're... Um, it'll be a source of passive egg gain, but it's meant for multiplayer in the sense of somebody is dedicated to staying at the base and taking care of, like, the farm, watering it, babysitting the chickens, and actually being, like, an actual farmer farmer. By the way, oh. apparently the new utility pack that I made can hold my shotgun in it. No problem. Oh, nice. I don't have it like that, but apparently I could. It's essentially a big fanny pack that I just put a fucking... Benelli esque uh, shotgun to where it's got yeah. long tube to put the shells, pump shotgun, not sawed off, there's just regular shotgun. That is interesting to me. A little bit. Apparently, we're out of trash bags in uh, break room. Yeah, we need to go find more trash bags. Our trash panda needs to collect more trash bags. By the way, when it comes to the extra large denim backpack, um, what really does it do? Like, is it essentially a packer bag? Oh, I haven't crafted it. Huh? I haven't crafted it. Oh. I usually spawn myself with a packer bag, or I just pick up whatever random bag. Are there electrical VHS? Uh, no. I think it's uh, carpentry, uh, mechanic, and woodworking are the vanilla ones. There's also a tailoring one, but there's only one of it. And then there's the survival, uh, which has carpentry, trapping, fishing, and foraging. So that one's 18. This one's 20. Okay, so I need to read fishing. That one's 26. Foraging. And trapping. I like how long it's been thundering out now. I know, right? Well, I'm going to assume that no one's going to want a 26 holding weight reduction 85 denim backpack when there's really just a packer backpack that's better so i'm salvaging well i mean for a secondary backpack you equip in your secondary uh hand i just be able it to wouldn't another... it wouldn't be that bad because of the weight reduction i mean you could put a packer bag in your secondary hand too Exactly. Packer bags, weight reduction. Oh, that's true, 95. Hey, does... 
cleaning rags uh, in the medical or the health thing increase first aid? No. Well, shit. Does making bandages? I don't do think it? so. So you don't know. I don't think so. Well, I'm going to test it right now. All right. 102.63. Yeah, no, 102.63. Uh, can you go to the roof and make sure I place the barrels correctly? Yep, one moment. I am currently in the uh, fun wagon looking for things to pull off of it. Fun wagon? Yeah, the RV. I would call it the shag wagon, but we don't have a shag uh, carpet inside. I mean, that's what not what makes a shag wagon a shag wagon for me, but okay. That's what the shag wagon actually is. Like, it literally is a van that has shag carpeting. I know. And a bed That's not what makes it a shag wagon to me. Well, uh, yeah. Your definition is wrong. My definition is right, to my mind. And that's all that matters. To me. Fair enough. We brought ficus. Not the ficus. If you've watched American Pie uh, 2, I think it was, or American Wedding, whatever the one was uh, where they're at the uh, wedding, or not the wedding, the lighthouse. I haven't seen any real American Pie things. Main reason is because uh, I was told to watch it by my sister's boyfriend once, and he kept trying to make it seem like I had a boner, and I didn't. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to be around here. I'm fucking done. Because I ended up having it to where I was in a chair that was uh, one of those collapsible gaming chairs. Mm -hmm. So while you're in it, you scrunch your legs together and kind of rock yourself back and forth. And I was doing that, and he ended up saying that I, was, uh, I had a boner, and that's why I was going and putting my legs up. It's like, fucking no. Also, are you really that much of a pedophile? You're trying to get a kid to have an erection? By the way, I was probably like 9, 10. So I felt very uncomfortable. I said, nope. And ever okay, since then, uh, I couldn't really uh, focus on American Pie without thinking about how disturbing that was to me. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Putting up clothing racks to hang all the panties. Hey, oh. I, I did bring those clothing racks on purpose. Yeah, I know. I, I put them up if you want to move them. They're right over there. Because uh, there's kind of clothes everywhere on the floor. Yeah, I meant for them to be in the area that we're going to... I mean... We can edit walls and stuff inside, so we can make like a warehouse close to the break room. And I was thinking maybe we'd also have a clothing room. Yep. With a bunch of clothing racks to put clothing on. I completely agree. I just put it in the hallway. Because we do have those two changing rooms, the boys' room and the, the girls' room. Yeah, but I think we need to uh, beat out walls and make our own walls. Like, make bigger rooms for the warehouse part and the clothing room. I mean, we have really big rooms already. Like, have you seen the men's room? 
I haven't actually. It's quite large. And the girls' room is a little tinier, but still. Toby. Right here, right outside this door. Right here is the boys' room. Okay. Uh... So that's 240. Okay, yeah. I was thinking we can beat out these walls right here. And this oh, wall right here. Yeah. Out the walls for the showers. And then we can move the showers somewhere else. And yeah, we got the girls' room for the showers. Boys don't need showers. They got yeah, urinals. and uh, this could be like a storage room. We, could, we put boxes with uh, rows and stuff. So we can, you know... Yeah. Um, uh, this one, yeah, this Let's is big go. enough for a clothing room. Double dose this cabbage. Uh, I don't like that we can't expand the shower or the stall part this way more to make the room more, uh, rectangle. I mean, you could, you just blow this wall down and then, uh, blow those little tiny walls down. This is a shower room. Oh. It continues out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. So we have storage rooms. Yeah. And then if we really want a storage room that needs a lot of space, well, we got this big, huge warehouse right here. Hmm. You just gotta get the big metal things out of the way. And yeah. we got a lot of fucking carrots. I didn't well, realize it was a straight shot all the way to that warehouse. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of uh, office space uh, down this hallway, too. This hallway? Yep. This hallway uh, has a whole bunch of storage space right here. Like, offices and stuff. Okay. Uh, hmm. One more cabbage. I do like the offices. Mm -hmm. Yep, they got walled off by um, Brain. So, they could be rooms. Plus, there's a whole bunch of random right. clothes on there the floor. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping we could all... We could, like, build rooms. Maybe take part of the warehouse here. And, uh... Yeah, build, apparently my room build, is... Yeah, like, take... One that take I've been at and then, take uh, this side of the warehouse. To the left of the... Wherever the door is. Right here, the door. Uh, to the left of this door. And make, like, bedrooms for us all. On this side. You know, decent, yeah, decent sized rooms where we can decorate to our heart's content, you know? Yeah, fair well, enough. The area in which has some wooden crates, all the cloth on the floor, that area is going to be a bit of a workshop for me. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, we're just talking about areas really close to the break room and what we can do with right. it. And the gigantic little workshop area? It yeah. has all the machines. That'll be bulldozed. And that's where the mechanic shop's gonna be. What, in here? Why don't we just use the lower uh, warehouse down there? Yeah, the the east, the east, the northeastern warehouse over there, we can use that for uh, the vehicle workshop and mechanic area. Well, I'm talking it... about this one into the south, this huge place right here oh the south garage... yeah it has two garage doors and literally like it's empty like i've moved everything out of it oh yeah this is great for that mm -hmm. i don't know if they yeah they broke out this uh yeah they broke this door so we'll have to wall it off but they also broke this wall down here Oh, 
the door. And it's fine too. We could put another door. <laughs> no big deal. But yeah, this could be the mechanic shop. Yeah, that's perfect. This is perfect yeah. for it. And then I think Brain claimed up here. Yes, he did. So this is Brain's room. Uh, this is Brain's fun area. We'll still build him a room to decorate and stuff closer to the break room. Yeah, and then this is Rube. I was planning on putting a, um, a staircase right here to go down. You can't... Oh, instead of a staircase, build a fence, wooden fence, and put a sheet rope on it. I hate sheet ropes for the passion. I know. But zombies can't go up them. Yeah, but the latest patch nerf the crap out of sheet ropes they are very weak and if a zombie is nearby they'll break randomly yeah zombies can still break them yeah no i mean That's like true. they break randomly now when you're climbing up them if zombies are nearby like they don't even need to be underneath it like if they're within what? like four times it's a concept of now you're panicked which is yeah, yeah. what about an actual rope because can't we make those two yep but the it's the same thing. The idea is, is that they didn't want to make uh, invincible sheet rope uh, bases where you can't get into the base unless you have a sheet rope. Mm -hmm. So the idea is, is that if anybody is nearby the sheet rope, that the sheet rope would just randomly fall down. Ah. And they also cut the time to climb by like. They made it like super hard to climb up. Like, I think it was five times. So it's like super slow. Bang. Yeah, like the only purpose now for those is to get out of buildings safely. Okay. Like it's no longer viable to hide on like a roof with the sheet rope to, to get you up and down. Oh. But that's why like you put TVs at the bottom of your staircase. And zombies just can't go around the, the TV. So it's no big deal. And it's really easy just to pick the TV up and put it to the side. Okay, where's the survival VHS? It says exposure survival. We have two, four, five, and seven. I was going to take a What does that one do? Uh, that is trapping, fishing, uh, carpentry, and um, foraging. Each one does a different thing. Hang on. Why can't I play this book thing? Turn off. Turn on. I can't put these tapes in, can you? Uh, try right-clicking on the tape slot. No. There's nothing already in there? No. It won't let me put the tapes in. Alright, let me finish filling these, uh, things up with water while it's still raining, and then I'll head over there. Put the tapes on the floor right in front of the TV. Just let me know when you get ready. I have, re I have read carpentry, fishing, trapping, and foraging. So. Yep. Apparently I keep losing my fucking welding mask. I don't know how. Yeah, uh, you keep dropping oh, it. Oh, dang it. I almost, I almost thirsted to death without knowing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have high thirst, you gotta watch your, uh, your containers. That was bad. Yeah, I usually carry two containers sometimes, but um, the bourbon bottles are really good because they're lightweight and they carry a little bit more than a normal bottle. Mm -hmm. 
so I just carry one bourbon bottle and I just periodically check it. Gotta eat some more candy. Ooh, chocolate has a lot of fat. I'll eat that. Wasn't there a point in which you actually destroyed? Like, you could disassemble garage doors? Um, I mean, you can disassemble them, but you can't really put them back. Yeah, it's not letting me. No, you have to use the sledgehammer. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, weren't you able to, like, rip it apart? At one nope. point? Nope. You had to sledgehammer them away. They were yeah, basically... A... You can use yeah. an axe as well. Mm-hmm. The fire axe does a lot of damage against uh, doors. What are we um... going to do with the four plants? Plants? Decorate. Yep. Alright. Well, I have four ficuses that you can decorate, and then we can pee on. <laughs> Let's see, where should we put them? Uh... Oh, check this out. Ready? Ta-da! Nice. I had to get Good it. Good self-portrait. <laughs> oh, I don't have any farming, so I can't pick up plants as well. But that looks like a good spot. Oh, well, 50. I can pick him up. Alright, hey, you want to put those tapes in? Or at least one of them? Yep. It's 60. There you go. Seventy hits. Okay. I'm, uh... While it's I'm raining, I may as well, uh, you know, do some more planting. Egg. Excellent idea. Did you get all the seeds out of the kitchen? Yep. Stop. I was hoping it would give something. Okay, so I need to read another foraging book. One, two, three. I'll read foraging volume two. Damn, that's actually good enough experience. <clears throat> All right, let me just make sure I read the uh, the book for what you call it. Farming. Yeah, the tree farming thing. Oh, right, yes. 
I was gonna plant the trees and all the other seeds. It's raining out, so I decided not to wear clothes. Hmm. I'm about to be level six. Where's your ears? Took those off. Don't want them getting me soaked. Don't want to get too wet. Nope, I don't want wet clothing. Well. All right, time to read the next book. Apparently I'm planting a banana tree. Um, sounds about right. Just means I get extra toys. I'm a little concerned, but okay. Are you concerned? Reasons. No, no, I finished level five carpentry. Oh, one of the cabbages that was growing got devil's water fungi. Holy shit. Will the other types have foraging on them? Uh, they randomly have foraging, uh, trapping, 
carpentry, etc. Okay, one, two, three, four. Like it's about survival tac or things, so it's fishing, trapping, foraging, and carpentry. I use a different mod to tell me what the tapes do exactly. Put this tape back. 